Hello everyone, I'm the Peculiar Pisces and welcome to my channel. Today is June 3rd, 2024, Monday, June 3rd, 2024, and this is Floss Tube video number 19. And this is take three, because <laughs> apparently I just keep having all kinds of difficulties today. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start off with a crocheted piece that is single crochet and then I cross stitch over top of it. It is a Winnie the Pooh piece. It is specifically Eeyore because Eeyore is my favorite. Uh, it's a very large blanket. All four corners. The single crochet sort of mimics Ada a bit, so it was pretty easy to do the cross stitch. Now this was specifically a crochet hat, like, I mean, it was bought in the crochet section. I'm pretty sure I bought it at Michael's when I worked there, um, but it was bought in the crochet section, and um, I mean, it was done as a crochet piece that you just cross stitch over top of it, but any pattern that's crochet, you could just, or that's cross stitch, you could just single crochet and turn it into a crochet piece. Um, I meant to show you the back. I haven't done anything to the back other than the weaving under. Um, didn't really do anything because I wasn't giving this as a gift to anybody. Nobody's going to see the back except for me, and in fact, I had to dig this out of the back of the closet. Um, I feel like it's very rare that I finish my crochet blankets, um, but I mean, there's a handful floating around the house, so I, I do actually finish them. This one, it was all crocheted, and it was... at least a quarter of the way done when I, the cross stitching was at least a quarter of the way done whenever I found it. And, um, you know, COVID happened, lockdowns happened. And I was like, now is a good time for me to finish a bunch of my projects. And this was one of them. It's even got French knots in the butterfly wings. Uh, I believe the book had who, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore. I think it was just the four patterns. If I can find the book um, before it's time for me to upload this on YouTube, I will put that information in the description and link to it. Um, otherwise, when I eventually find it, I'll show you. So, <clears throat> I was a little bit naughty this week last week, I should say. I only worked on my Teresa Wensler and the crocheted piece uh, that is taking over project number three. Um, it wasn't intentional. I wasn't intentionally trying to work hard on Teresa Wensler, but some of it was a little bit laziness. I put it onto the, um, the stand and then I didn't want to take it off to switch it out. So I just kept plugging along. Another part of it was I was so close to getting that section done, so I just, I unintentionally pushed so that I could get the section done, <laughs> is what it boils down to. So uh, project number one is Favorite Designer, and um, it is a Teresa Wensler, and it is the castle, which is this one that is on the cover of the Best of the Fantasy Collection, Volume 1. I personally have never decided if the dragon is attacking the castle or if it's protecting the castle. But either way, I was kind of going for a post-apocalyptic vibe. Um, and I hand-dyed my fabric. This is 16 count Ada. Here is the full picture.
the area specifically that I was working on and finished was in here. That's a little better. So I finished out the rocks. I finished out, actually, I think the last video that I had, I had just started the gold around the tail. So I finished and worked and got the tail done and the water bit done. And then I shifted my hoop and started in on the castle at the top. So now my method is I'm just kind of going left to right and down at the same time. And then after all that's done, I tell my mind that that project's done and that the back stitch is a whole new project. So I just sort of like take a refresher and then um, I focus on, I'm gonna focus on the back stitch and the back stitch, I'm sort of looking at it as it's, it's a whole other project. And that's one way that helps me not so much lose my mojo while I'm backstitching. Because otherwise, I'll be like, ah, it's done. I completed it. Who needs, who needs all the detailing? But I do, or else my brain doesn't let me rest. But it gets so tedious, so I have to sort of think of the backstitch as its own project. So once I actually do finish the stitching on this, then I'm going to start sort of the clock over and calculate how long it takes me to do the back stitch. So again, this was 16 count hand dyed Ada that I dyed myself going for like a post apocalyptic vibe. Two over one. And so I am just over 75% done. Uh, I, where did I put my note? Here it is. I worked on this a total of six hours, 54 minutes, and 41 seconds. So it brought the grand total up to 126 hours, 10 minutes, and three seconds. And, like, the yellow is what I've done. On the fourth page like I, I'm so excited you know I, I was so close to hitting that mile marker and I think that's why my brain is just like no you must finish it doesn't matter about the other projects so project two is a black work or a sampler piece in this case it is a black work piece it is from practical black work on etsy and this one is called pentecost there's two versions of this one is more floral and one is more cross like here is the closest for whatever reason this is just kind of blurry and dulled out but this this little teeny tiny picture up in the corner is much more clear when it comes to looking at it. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And as I said, there was no, no work done on this. I hit that 50% mark last time, moved my hoop, and then went, yeah, no, now I'm going to work on Teresa Wetzler and just, so that's where I'm at to remind you what the total picture looks like. This is 18 count hand dyed Ada that I dyed myself. This is uh, one over one. And I am 50% complete on this. Now I just need to keep working on it and get it to that 75%. And project number three was the wish list, but I still can't 
work on that with my boot. Um, so I switched over to a crochet project. This one's a little hard to show because it's a corner to corner. Once it's finished and I can like stand up and hold it like I did with the Eeyore, it's a little better. But um, last time I showed it, I think I had just started in, it was just at where these yellow, light yellow ones are. So now I have at least three more rows. The pink flower is almost done. And then, so this is, this is the corner that like I started in. And this bottom corner has now started into the border. So I think it's only like a few more rows before it stops continuing out and it just, you know, continues up then. It might be a little bit easier to show then, but This is the main focus part. I work on this in the evenings now um, because it's just in a great big laundry basket. And uh, I have it in my room by the bed so that when we're watching TV, I can work on it and uh, yeah that's that's been working out pretty good that I've been able to get some work done on that so project four is my stash buster piece it is hiding from me It is a plaid Lucilla kit. The artist is Donna Dewberry, and this particular piece is called Hummingbird and Floral. I did not use the provided Ada. I purchased a 14 count Charles Craft from Michael's Craft Store, and then I hand dyed it myself. So again, this piece didn't have any progress. Um, but this was where I was after the last time that I showed it. Uh, in this lighting, at least from what I can see reflected back to me in the camera, you can see a little bit better that it's blue and then it's like mottled. But I did use two different shades of blue. When I was dying this. I feel like sometimes you can really see it and then other times you can't see it at all. So let me slip that back on. So this is where we were. No change. None at all. Teresa got most of my uh attention and uh, 14 count Ada two over two mostly there are some one over one there are some half stitches this this kit has been quite the surprise it's got so many blends and textures That is my weekly update. Uh, tomorrow I see the orthopedic foot surgeon and he's going to give me more of an idea on as to whether or not I can just get by with the boot and 
you know, just boot and rest and physical therapy when I'm healed or if I'm going to have to have this surgery. Like, I have no idea. I'm assuming that because I'm being referred to a surgeon, I'm going to have surgery. Uh, optimally, I hope not. <laughs> We've had a very boring summer so far because mommy can't drive anywhere. And yeah, so that is my update. This was again a short video um, and I will see everyone next week.